Rise and shine, everybody. Hey there. It's time to get up at Adam here on the farm. I'm up. And I'm Adam. Here on the farm, we try to remember some tips to make farm living just a little easier. Like never, ever, under any circumstances, stand behind a spooked pony. <laughs> or chocolate milk doesn't actually come from brown cows. Uh. Oh yeah, and don't underestimate the goats. They'll eat anything. <laughs> hey, speaking of eating, mm. these strawberries I picked today, yeah, they're good and ripe. Mm. I sure do love fruit. That reminds me, here on the farm, we're learning all about the fruit of the spirit. Yep, those are all the good things God grows in our hearts to help us become more like him. And the fruit of the spirit we're talking about today is, wait, 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 wait. Aren't you forgetting something first? Fed the goats, milk the cows, pick the strawberries, put on clean underwear. Pretty sure I got it all. No, no, no. You forgot something way more important than that. More important than clean underwear? Well, maybe not clean underwear, but it's still pretty important. Well, what? Tell me, what's so important? The Fruit of the Spirit song that we made up a while back. Oh, that could have been bad. The fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hmm, so good. Okay, now, the fruit of the spirit we're talking about today is faithfulness. And faithfulness is being dependable in my relationships with God and others. Like when I help bathe the pigs instead of going to a baseball game because I agreed to help you? Exactly. God is faithful to help us do the right thing. And when we depend on him, he can help us be faithful to others. You know, there's a story in the Bible about a man who was faithful to God and others. Is that the one about King David doing the right thing to King Saul? Sure is. King Saul did not like David. And when I say he didn't like him, I mean he really didn't like him. That's right. King Saul and his men were hunting David so they could kill him. David and his men knew that Saul was after him, so they were hiding in a cave. Saul came into the cave. To go to the body. While Saul was still in the cave, David snuck up and cut off a piece of his robe. When David's men saw this, they asked him why he didn't kill Saul because they knew Saul was trying to kill him. David told his men he didn't kill Saul because God was the one who made Saul king, and he wanted to obey God. Yep, it would have been easy for David to harm Saul when he didn't even know that David was there. David did what was right and showed faithfulness to God and King Saul by not harming him, even when he had the chance. So remember, when someone is depending on you, God can help you be faithful. Because faithfulness is a fruit of the Spirit, and faithfulness is being dependable in my relationships with God and others. All right, you ready to go bathe those pigs? I guess so. I love that God helps grow faithfulness in our hearts towards Him and others. For example, neighbor Ned across the way has his own farm and customers. We're a little competitive with our farms, but guess what? Ned's currently on vacation. If I can be honest with y'all for a moment, I actually thought about sabotaging his farm. Maybe letting his chickens out of the coop or driving over his crops, but then I remembered the story of David and Saul. God helped me realize that doing those things to neighbor Ned wouldn't be faithful to him or God. We're both part of the farming community, 
God provides the means for us both to farm and reproduce good food, especially the nicest fruit. It wouldn't be good of me to stop Ned's customers getting food too. Like David, I chose to grow in faithfulness. So let's turn and talk. Was there a time you could have done something that wasn't loving, but you decided to be faithful? Let's share.
Thanks for sharing those stories. It's amazing how much of an impact faithfulness can have on others. Let's jog our memories on how David's faithfulness impacted Saul. What did King Saul do when he realized David didn't hurt him, even when he had the chance to? David remembered how faithful God is and that helped him grow in his own faithfulness. I like to remember how faithful God is and that helps me. And I can do this by reading loads of stories from the Bible. God was super faithful to his people. He would make promises to them and he would always keep his promises. He made a promise that he would save us from our sins. And Jesus was so faithful that he came and died for us on the cross as an innocent man. That right there is the greatest act of love and faithfulness ever. In what other ways do you know Jesus is faithful? Have you experienced God's faithfulness in your life? Or are there any stories that you know from the Bible where Jesus was faithful? Share it with those around you.
get on your feet. It's time to play Catch the Fruit, Dodge the Poop. As you see fruit flying, reach out and grab it. Be sure to dodge those pesky cow pies. Great job, everybody. I love the Word of God. It's how I learned how much God loves me. And it's where I can go to see how I can grow with my relationship with Jesus and be more like him. I love to turn with you to John 15, five. Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches, those who remain in me. And I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. See, this is what God is like and how he wants us to live too. I love that God is a faithful God. All right, let's see how well you know this verse on the fruit of the spirit. What words are missing? Vine, fruit, nothing. Great work. your love and what you've done for me i know you saved my life and i'm thankful now each day i'll follow you with my heart and all i do you're everything to me and i'm thankful And what you done for me I know you saved my life And I'm thankful now Each day I'll follow you With my heart and all I do You're everything to me And I'm thankful I can show faithfulness. Hey everybody, it's time to play Fruit or Fail. We'll see some pictures pop up on the screen and we'll have to decide if the person in them is showing the fruit of the Spirit. If they are, we'll make a heart with our hands. But if they fail to show fruit, we'll make an X with our arms. It's time to check out the first one. Even when David had the chance, he didn't hurt Saul. Fruit or Fail? Make a heart with your hands for fruit or an X with your arms for fail. Fruit. Saul was trying to kill David, but David showed faithfulness to God and to Saul by not hurting him in the cave. Okay, it's time for another one. Reed told his mom that he wouldn't eat candy before dinner, but he really wants some. Even though his mom won't find out, he doesn't take any. Fruit or fail? Make your choice now. Fruit. When we follow Jesus, people should be able to depend on us to do what we say we will do. With the help of the Holy Spirit, we can show faithfulness by being dependable in our relationships with God and others. 
great job playing our game. We've had so much fun on the farm today, but before you go, let's all bow our heads and pray. Hey God, we know that we can always depend on you because you are so faithful to us. As we follow you, we want the Holy Spirit to grow faithfulness in our hearts so that we can be dependable in our relationships with you and with others. We love you, amen.